All right, poor posture continues to be a problem with so many of us, especially as we're glued to our phones, to our computers. We've always got that screen in front of us. So in our Healthy, Wealthy and Wise segment today here with a few ways to deal with tech neck, Janelle Rufa, you are a certified Pilates fitness instructor and Miss Palm Beach USA. So let's get down to business here. When we say tech neck, what are we talking about? Yeah, all of us are hunched over on our cell phones all day long, on yep. our computers working, and it's causing a lot of postural imbalances and issues. It's causing us to have a forward rounded shoulder position, mm -hmm. a forward neck position, this kyphotic position, which is leading to chronic headaches, neck spasms, neck pains, tight shoulders. And so we really wanna be proactive about our posture and preventing these, these aches and pains that can be avoided. And it's, you know, probably just becoming more and more common lately with all of the technology out there and just getting glued, like you said, to the technology, to your phone, right in front of your face. Yeah. So what are some of the things we can do to help deal with this? Yes, absolutely. So first we want to be proactive and incorporate some healthy habits to prevent this. So okay. for instance, we're on our phone, right. rather than... <laughs> having our phone down and, and bringing our head forward, mm -hmm. a healthier position would be to bring our phone to eye level. Okay. There's actually an app you can download called NetGuard that will tell you if you're in the red zone or the green zone. Oh, wow, okay. So bringing your, and it'll send you notifications if you're bringing it improperly. If you're in the red zone, right? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Also, we want to be proactive about some various stretches. So I brought some props here that we can use today. First okay. of all is a pen. Okay. So if you're sitting at work writing, a nice little trick is to place that pen right in between your scapular muscles and then glide the shoulders down the back and give it a little pinch. Okay. And what this will do is help with our scapular retraction. So actually put it behind you. Uh huh. I've got all these microphones hooked up behind me so I can't, I can't practice it but we can, I'll do it later and you put the pen behind you and try yes. to really hold it. Glide the shoulders down the back. Yep. And you, and the foundation of a great posture is a strong core. Mm -hmm. So we just want abdominals in and back, shoulder in and up, shoulders gliding down the back. And then also I brought these towels here to okay. show you a few little neck stretches you can do at work or at home or okay. in the car. But you can it, it serves as like a bit of traction. So you okay. can place this towel behind your neck and then just gently inflection and and uh, just gently bringing the head back and forth, just okay. keep stretching out our, our muscles here, and then side to side. And that's something as well. you can do easily because we've got these towels at home. Yeah. And you just stretch. Flexion and extension, exactly. And All right. Side to side. Those are great. And also to stretch out our pectoral muscles, you can take it behind the back, glide the shoulders down the back, and, and keep the core nice and tight and just stretch out, open out the pectoral muscles in our chest. So those are great great stretches as well. Anything else you can do um, when you're sitting at your desk because so yeah. many people are kind of glued to that computer screen. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you can set an alarm every 20 minutes. You want to kind of set an alarm, glide the shoulders down the back. And there's another exercise called chin retractions or chin tucks mm -hmm. where you basically create a double chin so it doesn't okay. look too attractive, <laughs> but um, it's very effective for helping that retraction and help reset our posture as well. All right, very good. Thank yeah. you so much. We Thank appreciate you. those tips. And you know what, the best tip is probably put the phone down for a few minutes, right? Yes, absolutely. Just put the technology away and uh, do something else. Occupy your hands with, the, you know, something else. Play with the kids and, you know, just try to break away from it a little bit. Absolutely. All right, thank you. All right.